The Toronto skyline is always changing, but this morning there was something totally different on the horizon. A 23-year-old woman who somehow climbed a construction crane and got stuck. As CTV's John Venavalli Rao reports, her misadventure forced an elite rescue squad to think up a daring plan on the fly. Toronto is a city with a lot of construction cranes, and daredevils have scaled them before. But for rescuers, this was a first. A woman spotted at around 4 in the morning, perched on a crane's narrow hook. It was quite something to see her there. I mean, obviously, she shouldn't be there. Somehow, the woman had scaled the crane and appeared to have slid down the cables, all while wearing ankle boots with heels, leaving her hanging 12 stories up. No indication that she's in any great distress, um, just at this point uh, stuck on the end of a crane. Emergency workers eventually sending up a police negotiator, as well as an experienced climber and firefighter. Yeah, I was voluntold you're going up and uh, <laughs> you just got to get it done, right? 52-year-old Rob Wanford calls himself a bit of a monkey, seen here making his way to the top, dragging heavy ropes. What kept me going was, how did she do this? Like, surely if she got up there, I can get up there. It's not clear why she did it, but officials lean towards the idea she was a thrill seeker who got in over her head. After all, YouTube has all sorts of videos of people climbing cranes, trying to get the ultimate selfie from high up. A crowd gathering to watch the rescue as that firefighter then lowered himself to the woman. She's very calm. She made me calm, actually. He placed her in a safety harness, and the pair rappelled down more than 36 meters, ending an ordeal that lasted five hours. <laughs> the woman was then handcuffed and taken to hospital, where she was cleared medically and now faces six charges, including public mischief. Ironically, as she was loaded into a police cruiser, she flagged to the officers that she couldn't do up her seatbelt. As for Wanford, after the most daring rescue of his career, he went to go play some hockey. John Fenavelli Rao, CTV News, Toronto.